Hola, gente, especially the people who are coming on our immersion courses or who are thinking about coming on our immersion courses. Let me give you an update on the immersion courses and what's happening. We've had such a fantastic response. I don't know if you've seen the new setup we've got on our website, but if you go into immersion courses, you'll see the courses that we've got running this year. All right, already, yeah. And they're filled up within days. We announced them in the filled up. So clearly there's a, there's a great demand. And we, as Cynthia and I, are absolutely over the moon that so many people want to come and attend our courses. One of the questions that we get over and over again is this about level, about level, okay? And I want to just clarify something and just to help you understand what the intention of the course is and how it's going to work. Okay, some people are saying, um, I think I'm about sort of um, early intermediate or I'm intermediate or I'm advanced intermediate or I'm sort of a, an advanced beginner. Is the course all right for me? Or I'm advanced, yeah, is the course all right for me? My answer is always yes. <laughs> yes, it is. All right. But let me explain why I say that. There are 10 people on the course, on each course, and there are, depending on the day, two teachers or one teacher. Depends on that. On that. Cynthia and I are working together on the Monday and on the Friday, and then Anna's working on the Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. But why, what is it about the level that doesn't matter? All right. It doesn't matter if you're an absolute beginner, although I would suggest that you have some kind of, um, of Spanish to come on their course. But if you're an absolute beginner or you're or an advanced speaker, what happens is this. Every single class is in Spanish. There is no English. All right. The hotel that you're staying is staying in is a Spanish hotel. Nobody speaks English there, apart from the guests. Okay, the class is in in Spanish. After that, you're going or at lunchtime, you're going to be eating in a Spanish restaurant and asking for food in Spanish. Then, after that, there's an excursion, and that's in Spanish. There's a tour. We're going to be doing a tour of the of La Casa Grande, and the person's going to be speaking in Spanish. Then after that, you have your evening meal and you're going to order in Spanish. And then in the bar, if you want to, people will be there to speak to you in Spanish only. Right. So so unless you want to stand in the mirror and talk to yourself in English, you're only going to be talked to in Spanish. And the rule in the class is from the moment that people arrive in the class to the end of the excursion, they don't speak in English. Right. So what does that do? Imagine that you are a, a beginner. So you go in the first day. This is basically what's going to happen if you're a beginner. You go into the class the first day and you will sit there and think to yourself, I haven't got a blinking clue what anybody's talking about. I don't know what they're talking about. I can see what they're writing on the board, but I don't know what they're talking about. And very often after the first day, you're very tired and you're very frustrated, right? got a bit of a downer on yourself. Oh my goodness, I don't understand anything. Day two, you go in the class and you're sitting there and you're still really struggling to understand. But there's the odd word that you're thinking, oh, I've heard this before. Oh, and you're starting to get a little bit accustomed to the voice of your tutor. But you're still not happy. Day three comes along and you're sitting there thinking, Okay, well, I'm kind of more or less following the idea of what's going on. There's lots of things I don't understand. Okay, but you're starting to kind of feel a little bit better. By day four, you're sitting there and you're listening and you're not stressing. You're just listening. You're not picking everything up, but you're listening. And then by day five, you're listening and you're picking quite a bit up in terms of the difference between day five and the first day, you're picking up massive amounts. Then every day we have, the whole class is based around you talking, right? There are exercise after exercise of you talking, whether you're out in the street talking with people, native speakers, or whether you're talking with, amongst yourselves in the class, or you're talking with the tutor, but talking, talking, talking. The classes are not 
heavily grammar based. What we want is for you to do your studying outside of that, but in the class we want you to talk and talk and talk and listen. The two main f f uh, ways of communicating. All right. So all that's going to happen is by from the Monday to the Friday, by the time Friday comes, no matter what level you are at, you will, be, have, you will have a better level. You see, it doesn't, there's no point in saying this class is only for advanced speakers. And I'll tell you why, because people don't tell the truth about the level. People don't understand what the level is. So at every single class that I've ever had in my whole career of teaching, every single beginner's class, I had people who were not beginners. I had people who were very, very good, but because of the nerves, didn't want to say that they were more advanced. And in my advanced classes, I have had people who couldn't put two words together. Everybody's got a different opinion about what their level is. Not only that, the curriculum of learning a language is so broad that you can be advanced in one area and a beginner in the other. You can be intermediate in another area. You can be very proficient doing one thing and really unable to do another. And so it's very difficult to pin a level on people. I don't like the level tests because I don't think that they really do find out what your level is. It all depends. Add to that your level of confidence. People who are more confident communicate much better than people who aren't. No matter what the level of Spanish. People who gesticulate, like me, communicate miles better than people who talk folded with their arms folded. So it really doesn't matter your level. What we are doing is saying, look, this course is more for beginner intermediate, and this course is more for ad big, uh, intermediate advanced. The reason that we're doing that is so that people feel comfortable. Because there's nothing worse than being a beginner and sitting in a class with somebody spouting off a, 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 what sounds like a fantastic sentence. And you think, oh, goodness, I'm not going to open my mouth now. Right? So that's the only reason that we're, we're putting levels in. But generally, what our guarantee is to you, or what our promise is, I suppose, that's the best, is that by the end of the week, you will be in a better place in terms of your confidence and in terms of your level. That's it. And it's all about speaking and listening, not writing. This is not a week of writing. You can take notes and stuff like that, but it's not a week of doing massive writing exercises or, or um, anything like that, or reading. No, we're going to be doing talking and listening. Okay? All right, so I hope that helps to answer the many, many queries that we've got. And if you are thinking about doing an immersion course with us, we've still got one in September that, that has about... Uh, six places left. We've, we've had to put another week on. And then we're going to post all of the classes for next year. We're going to post them on, on, the, on the, um, the immersion course page. And then you can start to have a look and make plans. Okay? Because obviously it looks like it's a goal. Entonces, that's all. Eso es todo. Me voy. Hasta luego, chicos.